tutorial, I'm going to curl my hair. Um, sometimes when my hair is short, I like to do tighter curls for the purpose of it falling out over a couple days. If I do tight curls with being short, it's just a little too poofy for my taste, but over time it wears really nicely. Today I'm just going to do like really soft curls, and I actually like, it's looking pretty good straight. And my problem with straight is it doesn't last. It just gets really oily and stringy. So we're just not going to like super curl it, but just put in some real light curls. So this is how I do that. I don't curl all the sections of my hair. I just usually do like two, like an upper and lower section. Now, the best way to get texture in your hair so it's not all one way is to have different kinds of curls. So you can use two different shaped barrels. It's a lot harder because I ended up buying um, a tool where you change out the barrels and my other curling iron is like a really huge barrel which is too short for this hair. Um, so sometimes if I'm really feeling like I have the time I'll go in with this one and then maybe either one a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller and just add a few pieces. That way because it has a different curl to it it doesn't clump together. You can also change the directions of your curling iron. That's not my favorite method because my hair like if you take the barrel and do it and then like turn it towards you, my hair just doesn't work well. So what I do is I do a different curl type with the same size barrel. So especially with these pieces around the front of my hair, I don't have a comb, I should have grabbed a comb. I'm just gonna wrap it around once. And I do it this way because I'm not gonna get any harsh lines from the curling iron, like a clamp line. Pull it out. Oops. There it is. And then I just kind of mix the curls I do. Now I'm not going up on my root, which is what I usually do with longer hair to give it volume because it really actually just fluffs my hair up and I don't like the effect. And you can like tell it's fluff versus fluff. Then you just kind of like work your way around your head. Okay, this side, same thing. Sometimes I have one side that likes to curl, like this side sometimes likes to curl better than this side, but I have less hair on this side of my head than I do on this. So this is always tricky because you are doing it cross and you wanna keep your barrel facing down and not burn yourself. So I'm just wrapping it around once and then I'll kind of turn in a little bit to the mirror. I'm leaving like an inch out I don't always love to leave a ton of hair out because, again, with fine hair, it looks weird. So, like, it's hard to tell, but see all that length there. So, not my favorite. So, I'll just go back and add my curling hair. What's up, Emmy? Um, AZ, who's on the TV and he's not listening. Okay, AZ, watching TV? Yes. Okay, Tommy needs to go do a little dog poop and then you can play the switch on her. Okay, well then you can go on the TV. He hasn't done his work yet. <laughs> Avery, off the TV! Okay, bottom layer is done. Now we're gonna go to the top layer. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just section off this little area back here. Okay, so now I've sectioned off like the crown of my head and I'm going to just put in some soft curls here. I'm gonna do it forward is I want them to kind of come forward and then swoop to the side. So what I usually do is start in a way from underneath and then work up. 
And I'm starting to curl like almost halfway down the hair and then just leaving a little bit out. And if it's too curly for you, just hold it for a little bit and it'll loose up. And I have bangs, so that's gonna get caught up in there a little bit, but that's okay. And then you see how much is out before I actually do the curl. to like fix a curl you can go in and fix it I'm actually gonna use this texture spray this stuff is awesome texture spray basically gives your hair some grit so if you see like it just gives it a little bit more hold and like dirt to it so like if I was gonna put this up it would just hold better and I also love this Pure Abundance Hair Potion by Aveda. It instantly adds volume. It is like a powder to, I don't know, liquid almost. One summer, I did not take it with me when we went RVing. And we let our heat get up pretty high in the 80s. But that was enough over, like, oh, you know, the two months we were gone to <laughs> liquefy it. And uh, it does not work well in your hair if it's coming out already liquefied. You'll feel it like touch your skin and like get wet. Okay. Oh, it's my hair purified going off from all that chemical. All right. There. It's not uh, like a wild curl. It's just kind of a loose. And then you could brush your hair. I sometimes like a smoother look. You can even go in with a flat iron and kind of just smooth out those ends a little nicer. I don't totally clamp down on this, but this is kind of enough to... And if you say, okay, I did that and I don't love it, just go in and curl it up. And voila, you finish it off however you want, back comb it. You could add some tighter curls if you'd like. You could run your curling iron through this to loosen it up. It's the great thing about hair and makeup is it's yours. Yours, do what you want. And uh, yeah, that's it. It's nice. Uh, <laughs> short hair is not less work. Let's just say that. But sometimes it's nice to just chop some of it off to, I don't know, freshen and liven things up. It's also, I love to, this you could piece it up and have like a cute little and this is me doing this to my hair all day long I love playing with my own hair and then so all right that's the look 
you can style how you want. You can back comb it to get some more volume. You can throw in some tighter curls. You can run your curling iron through it to loosen them up. You can take a flat iron and straighten that up a little bit. You just kind of have to learn what you like. I don't love taking a flat iron in here and smoothing that too much because um, then it looks funny. Sometimes I'll take this and I won't even clamp down all the way just if I have like something that's very ski wampus to fix it. But it's your hair. It's like it's your makeup. Do it your own way, how you like it. Um, and you'll just know from experimenting. Sometimes after I curl it, I'm like, oh, so sad. It was really looking nice straight, but this is what gets my hair to last longer. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, or follow if you're watching this on Instagram. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.